ever went to the old Tiger Stadium, saw the wings at the Olympia, or the Pistons at Cobo, chances are you had a burger at the Lindell AC. John Buchakaris was one of the two brothers who ran the sports hangout, and he had a heart of gold. In its heyday, the Lindell AC was Detroit's version of Cheers, a great place for a burger, and you never knew what sports star or big wig you might see there. John Buchakaris, who owned the Lindell with his late brother Jimmy, died this weekend at the age of 91. Sports writer and broadcaster Terry Foster worked at the Lindell for years. His mom was one of the managers. Foster says John Buchakaris was the heart of the Lindell. You might have Gates Brown here, and then a federal judge here, and then someone from Michigan Bell who worked across the street right there. And they rubbed elbow to elbow, and they talked sports and everything. Alex Karras, Andre the Giant, Billy Martin, and Mickey Mantle were regulars. Johnny was a pilot and often took quick trips for fun with good friends. I would be working there, and I'd be all dirty and greasy. He says, uh, hey, you want to go have dinner? I'm like, sure, fine. And then I says, where are we going? He says, to Cleveland. And so we would get into his uh, plane with him and Sonny Elliott and uh, maybe a couple other people would have dinner in Cleveland. The Red Wings, the Tigers, the Lions, and the Pistons were all known to stop by the Lindell. It closed in 2002. And Foster says without John Buchakaris, there'll never be another place like it. Now the athletes have private rooms, and when you go see them, they're behind ropes and everything. So the Lindell AC, we will never see it again. And boy, we'll never see a special fella like John Buchakaris again either. Today, Detroit Mayor Dave Bing sent us a statement saying he and the other players used to frequent the Lindell when the Pistons played at Kobo. He said that John Buchakaris was a good guy whose legacy and memory will live on. Now, if you have a great memory of the Lindell or of Johnny or Jimmy Buchakaris, just log on to our website, WXYZ.com, and tell us about it. You can find that article right on our homepage. I'm Mary Conway, but boy, we have really lost a legend this weekend. Reporting live, back to you.